This presentation shows the result of the AI exam compression benchmarking, a notable US activity led by Jérôme Jansou from Atos Origin and Thibaut Dacla from Atmosphere. Let's put up the context. While the aircraft is on the ground, the communication is not a problem. The bit rates are high and the cost of the communication is low. But when it comes to the aircraft leaving the ground, the problem is different. The data rate falls and the price of the communication increases tremendously with a factor of approximately 1000. So it becomes impossible money-wise and time-wise to send data over the data link in the same format as it was sent on the ground. This is why there is clearly a need for efficient compression and this is what is studied here in AWS 8. For this activity, the benchmarking environment was the Java platform JAPEX, slightly modified to allow additional measures. In this study, several candidates were benchmarked, including Fast InfoSet, Exefficient, Raw Deflate, and WXML. The studies focused on three main criteria, which are compaction, memory footprint, and CPU consumption. To study those candidates, four families of test files have been created. The first family is composed of digital NODAMS files, which are small files with a size below 10 kilobytes. The second family is composed of bigger AIXM files with size up to 1 megabyte. They are mono feature files served by the Snowflake WFS. The third family encompasses even bigger AIXM files with size from 1 up to 20 megabytes from various sources. And finally, the fourth family is made of technical files which have been crafted with a focus on different specific points. Here are the compaction results for the first family of DNOTAM files. While the row deflate reduced the size of the files down to 30%, the EXI compression algorithms allows to go down to 13%. So in that specific DNOTAM case, the EXI with schema knowledge and deflate pass compression, here shown in black, is three times more efficient than the row deflate. Regarding the results on the bigger file from the three others' families, the following points have been assessed. The compression efficiency is very much dependent on the feature type. On bigger files, EXI only performs up to 50% better than row deflate, while it's a much more complicated algorithm. EXI can reduce the size of the floating points through gram knowledge. However, the deflate post decompression perform worse on this reduced size information than on the actual original ASCII. So EXI and deflate post compression are not really working together, but more one against the other. End of the day, overall performance is identical between row deflate and EXI on big files. Regarding the different levels of compression in the row deflate, it has been assessed that going up to the level 5 or 6 is enough. Indeed, as shown in the graph, the difference of compactness between level 5 and level 9 is almost neglectable, while level 9 is much more complex than level 5. EXI is quite a heavy compression algorithm. Indeed, as shown in the graph, its memory consumption, for instance, is much higher than the other algorithms. EXI can spend several megabytes to build its grammar, and this might represent the problem when it comes to data link communications. Finally, Fast InfoSet, although not being the most efficient in terms of compactness, is clearly the fastest algorithm of all, which can represent an advantage on ground systems. And here is a summary of the conclusions drawn from this study. We have seen that EXI is the most efficient way to compress digital node amps. This is clearly efficient for dialing small bit rates. When we consider bigger files, Row deflate and EXI are identical in most cases. Fast InfoSet, although not being the most efficient compression algorithm, is by far the fastest, and that can be interesting for fast ground networks. With regard to AIXM, the next step for improvements would be to improve deflate post compression and make it work in a better way with EXI, to work on the AIXM schema for instance, removing unnecessary or redundant data to improve compression, 
and to go for a better handling of the coordinates, which represent most of the AIXM files, with methods such as differential storage or variation of the precision depending on the feature. More complete and precise information can be found in the ER AIXM performance assessment.